traditional and modern methods of learning there is a very big confusion between the two i feel a mixture of both would help you to go on especially in this 21st century of skills skill development is predominant today before i begin today's video this is rini rose matthew i'm a celta certified tutor and also an author if you're watching this video and visiting the channel the first time you need to take a look at the other videos to get a glimpse of what the channel is all about what was once modern has become traditional now today also we are following many things many trends many methods of learning this will also become traditional maybe after 10 years it becomes outdated very fast that doesn't mean that it cannot be taken into consideration i know something learning has never got exhausted in itself it has never waned off learning has only evolved people and those who are genuinely in this process has always helped in development and evolution when it comes to traditional and modern methods of learning let's let's keep the methods aside wisdom doesn't come with qualification and so much of knowledge and the position that you have in the society i feel little bit of common sense and some bitter experience and some practical knowledge along with a pinch of humanity will give you wisdom recently also i came across people who are not very qualified speaking with so much wisdom you don't have to get intimidated when somebody tells you that i am a scholar in this i am a research scholar i've done my phd in this area of studies what is the use of having so much knowledge when there is arrogance people are ignorant of course i agree that people are ignorant when they don't have much knowledge when we try to educate people when we try to help with learning there is no need to show arrogance let's take a very simple example 20 years back 10 years back we all used to be under the scorching sun soil our clothes come back get scoldings from our teachers and parents for being under the sun for a very long time nothing happened because the climatic conditions the weather conditions were totally different today children cannot be exposed to the sun due to various reasons and parents and teachers and the authorities of school should understand that the climatic conditions have changed a lot it has become hazardous and quite dangerous for even adults so whatever happened 50 years back or 20 years back cannot be relived just like that without paying attention to several aspects i'm not speaking about rekindling or cherishing the memories that you have reliving the beautiful moments of life i'm speaking about the practical side of this aspect getting dirty getting soiled and also being out in the sun is a process of developing immunity but today we are living in the post covid era the age of course health is important but things have changed geographically topographically and in every aspect the lifestyle everything has changed and we cannot blame anyone i'm quite sure that this will also become a part of history maybe after 20 years people will say 2023 and 24 and 25 used to be the healthier days of human beings yes it can happen so whatever is modern today will become traditional and whatever is considered traditional today was once upon a time modern and it also went through criticism okay harsh criticism ruthless criticism revolution and reformation will never happen without criticism without people taking the initiative to revamp and also bring about change now when we ask people to come out of the comfort zone even uh, with reference to aspects of learning they say no i can't do it they conclude so fast they assume even without taking the attempt they con conclude even without listening to something properly so today when we consider learning also people find it very difficult to come out of their comfort zone they say i cannot do it they conclude so fast they assume things out of the air thinking that they will not be able to do it even before making an attempt they conclude 
too quick to conclusion is a trend today because we want everything as instant packets of energy and learning as I always say. Today when I look at some of the teachers who come for training, they also share very openly that the objective of education, the way people are taught languages have changed. Some of them are totally wrong. The need and the requirement of an individual when it comes to learning is different. It varies. When that's the case, we cannot completely neglect the old methods or only give way to the modern methods of learning. These are all tags. These are all terms given. Now, coming to 10 years back and 15 years back, we never had so much of access to resources tools, internet, whatever it may be, social media. Today the options are plenty. There is a plethora of tools and opportunities and options today that people are so confused with what and when and how to choose, how to make the choice because we have the fake and the fraudulent platforms also. So until and unless you experience it, you may not even know the authenticity of certain things. And some platforms are so genuine that they may not advertise for their own cause or need. Okay, And we cannot tag and label such people saying that people who don't advertise are genuine and people who advertise are not genuine. Nothing like that. I'm trying to tell you that we need to really filter and understand uh, what we need and what is not meant for us. So today we have resource people, we have schools of learning, we have colleges, we have a um, lot of learning centers and academies in every nook and corner of the country. Some of them are experts, some of them are overqualified, I should say, but they may not know how to deliver the content in the appropriate way. So the demand is high. When you go for a job also, you will know that they ask for a lot of things. Do you have experience? Do you have five years of experience? Do you know that? Do you have this? But the delivery, the genuinity, the dedication towards learning and teaching has completely changed. And people always go for something that's genuine, that comes from the heart and that really helps them, not only with the output. Even if you're just narrating something, even if it's just a storytelling session, it has got something to teach you. It has got something to give you. Let's take short steps. And then before making the bigger leap, let's think. Because if you're going to take the great leap, you may fall. You need to analyze. In certain places, you need to hop and leap. In certain places, short steps will do. That is how learning takes place. And that is how learning has been happening whether it's traditional, modern, or whether it's going to be the anticipated AI intelligence era, whatever it be. So maybe 10 years back, there were a lot of people who had the modern thoughts, the so-called post-modern thoughts in their mind. But maybe the access was not there. We didn't have all these viral aspects of making people become heard, voicing the opinion, the organizations. But today, yes, there is access. The options are plenty, as I told you earlier. And um, maybe 10 years back, there were people who had the postmodern and modern thoughts. Okay, there's nothing known as modern thoughts being always correct and traditional thoughts being always wrong, nothing like that. So when we take all these aspects of life, some of them could not be heard. And some of them were really unheard and we get to read about them or we get to hear about them today all because of technology. So when we have the access, make the best of it, make the most of it instead of focusing on something that's just not for us. Filter, prioritize. Today things are different. It doesn't mean that things are getting better. There are a lot of challenges. There is high competition, which leads to more stress and pressure. I should say that unnecessary levels of competition leading to too much stress and health complication. It's your duty to prioritize, take up the responsibility to see what is really meant for you and what you need and not just want in life. What is the use of accumulating so much every day and that not knowing what to do with it? You need to have a purpose after accumulating knowledge, after accumulating wealth or whatever you have in mind, after reaching your goals. 
so even in the traditional era or in the so called olden times we had people who always loved learning today also we can see people like that who are passionate about unfurling the different opportunities that they have in life that helps them to grow not just the monetary the materialistic and the outward the external factors of life but otherwise also develop as a person developing the skills so when people are there to develop to help you develop your skills be it traditional or method this thought itself matters that is what should be considered and taken into account irrespective of it being traditional or modern it has got nothing to do with how many years of experience you have it has got nothing to do with your age or where you belong to it's all about the mind and what you're doing with your life each day every day because you're accountable for it happy learning